we're working on a Christmas present and uh, this video should go up after Christmas so it's gonna be a kind of a drawn out video but anyway my daughter bought this car back when she was 15 years old drove it all the way through college and then quit driving it and uh, we parked it up here like everything else and so uh, we have decided to drag it out clean it up get it ready and give it back to her for Christmas we what we have is a 2000 convertible Mustang. Now we've done took it and pressure washed it and cleaned it up. You couldn't even tell what color it was. We've got to replace the top. As you can see, it's coming unglued. And then we've got to get some seats where the seats are wore out. Carpet, and we'll replace the carpet. And a lot of the stuff's coming loose from over the years of working. But uh, this was a cool little ride. Yes, it is the little V6. But it runs out good and uh, you can see it's got damage here, there and yonder on it from uh, bumps. When this thing was bought, it was a big deal. Ground effects, and we've got the door open. Let's see if we can shut this back. See, it had the ground effects on it. Uh, I bought the wider Cobra wheels for it, which kind of filled the fender wells out. Right after she started driving, she backed into a pole at the huddle house. Uh, so it's got a few little scrapes and dings on it. Paint's coming off. You can see where it's bubbling up. Of course, that's not, that's just water, but you can see where the paint's coming off. We gotta replace the top. But we got, we just changed the oil. We gotta put some brakes on it where it's been set. And I think the calipers are frozen and then get it over to body shop. But if you can see where the paint's coming off, bubbling up, I don't know what causes that. We've had it under a tarp. That might be it. And this is broke, which we can cross there. It's no big deal. But we're going to try to get this thing ready, get it painted up, put a new top on it, clean it up, get it all going. And then Christmas, we're going to give it back to her. She's got a baby girl now, Willow Claire, five years old, and I think Willow will have a big time in this. We've got a, a window that's missing, and I don't remember the deal on that. I don't know if it's down in there or fell out, but there's no, there's no glass anywhere to be seen. I dread replacing that top, but I think we can do it. So we've got quite a bit of work to do, but we got to get it to the body shop is the main thing. We've got to put some brake pads on it. This should be fun. This should be fun. She don't expect this at all. We found the back glass laying in the back floorboard, so there it is. We've got to get it put back in. we got to take this apart, get it back in there, but that's going to be okay because we got to take that apart anyway because we have got this. Oh yeah, pull her out of there, get on us. Oh, look at that, ain't it nice. Oh, there's a roll bar. Any idea how to put that in, Mark? Nope. <laughs> I don't know either. Guess let's see if we got directions. We don't need no stinking directions. All right, we got the engine pressure washed, the oil changed. Mike's checking the transmission fluid now, make sure everything's good with that. We put brand new brakes and calipers because the calipers were stuck. And them are 40 something dollars just for the core. So that's all. We took all the back seat and stuff out of it because we had to, uh, we're working on the top. We're gonna put a new top on it. It hadn't come in yet, but you can see where it's been set. We had a mouse nest right over there so i got a bunch of leaves in here but anyway this this cylinder which is the top cylinder had come loose here's the part and it fell off and it goes like that holds this in that come loose which messed up this so we got a leak right there so i had to order brand new lines they should be in tomorrow we get them put on clean up this part back here and that should get the top working like it's supposed to work. Uh, this window's out and it's not broke. They actually glued this in. This is glued in and I've ordered the stuff from DuPont to put that back on. It's just glued on there and then that, this bolts from this side and this just glues on. That's all that holds that on is just glue. So anyway, we got the glue coming. And while we got this out, we've got the, Mike, where is it at? There it is. We bought the uh, roll bar that goes in here and we've got to get it installed and it goes just like that. That's going to look nice. 
So that goes right there. We've got to bolt all that in, which is fairly easy, but uh, glad to have that. Coming along nicely. We just got to keep on keeping on. We're at the body shop. Johnny the man is looking over the project. been sitting for I don't know how many years. What's the what's the date on the top the tag? That's uh, when she quit driving it. You know, you, you hit my 2014. How long is that? How long has that been? Pretty near ten years. Ten yeah, near. Pretty near. You got paint coming off here. We gotta order one of them. Stuff, you know, plastic just don't hold it. I said this is what's going to put cars in a junkyard. It's not going to be rust. It's going to be plastic. It's going to fall apart, <laughs> and you won't be able to buy it. Yeah, I mean, it's some of this emission stuff or fuel injection stuff, little plastic tees and stuff, it'll be some weird little piece that you can't buy, and it's going to put a car in a junkyard mm -hmm. for a $2 part. They'll charge you 20 but it'll be a $2 part. Yeah. Bubbled right here. Crack in the hood there. Let's fix that. How that happened? But yeah, I wondered about that too. I saw some on the other side. I had a tarp on this. This car was tarped. Do you think that might have been the issue? Could be. Could be. Yeah, they say you, if you're going to cover it, it needs to be a breathable material. Well, I didn't have that on it. Yeah, if you just cover it with plastic. It holds moisture in, and it'll get through the paint, and it'll bubble it. Got a lot of bubbles on it. Dent, see, there's some more bubbles. And you. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> them seats are coming out. The only thing I'm really worried about is cleaning the dash up. Mm. Okay. No, no, it's a huge problem. It's just little all over I uh, I actually put some PB blaster on that, so I'm gonna let it set. Maybe we can get them out. I don't know. I hope I ain't got to replace that because you'd never find that piece. You know what? Yeah. Piece at a time. Piece at a time. All right. Yeah. Spring of what year? We need it next week. <laughs> so that's when we're gonna be done with it. Spring ne of what year? Johnny's hard at work over here tearing the Mustang all apart. We got leaves, more leaves, and more leaves. We got the ground effects. The one that's on it wasn't big enough, so we had to have a different size. Got the front bumper. Progress is being made, so. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Definitely. You gotta break a few eggs, as they say. Yep. There's all of our bolts we're gonna miss. We're gonna lose these before it's over with. And the top should be in Today, hopefully. On the video, he said, don't start taking it apart till you make, sh make sure the top you got is correct. <laughs> well, I ordered it. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's so a good that's idea. That's why I haven't touched the top yet. Okay. I'm just getting rid of the big parts. Johnny's already complaining. Already saying this piece I jumped. We got the Mustang. He is going to town. We got to the door over here where the hinge was... Uh, when it wore out. Yeah. It's a oh, look at that. There you go. Bondo, more Bondo. Coming along good, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, I've been pecking away at it. That's ready for paint right there, ain't it? <laughs> I see it, how easy it was going to scrape off. And? Uh, yeah, we, I think we'll go to the metal. Okay. Uh, I tried a couple of spots to see if we could just, just take the surface off. Right. Some places it comes out pretty good, but then you wonder, you know, what's under there. Is it going to keep bubbling later? 
This is this looks like the vet project. <laughs> well, that truck lid, I'd take it off. Kept bumping my head on it. <laughs> and uh, the, all the plastic had to come off because it needs some work. Yeah. You know, that's going to be the biggest job is fixing all the plastic. I did order one of those uh, solder gun things that has the, the little nut staples that get hot and right. melt into the crack. Mm -hmm. well, I think that'll help a lot on, on fixing the plastic. Coming along pretty good on the quarter panel. Still got a few waves in it there. But, uh, I got tired of sanding on that and started sanding on the trim. So, do you have any of that uh, trim paint? Left over? Didn't you buy some uh, sound trim paint the other day? Yeah. And maybe some of that 2K ready to spray in the spray can primer? Yeah. You need it? Yeah, I was going to paint those things. All right, I'll go get you some. Let them be dried so they'll be ready to go back on with the top every little bit. I think it's got a green door on that side. Well, it was wrecked sometime or another. And I wondered how come it was white under it. Maybe it was white to begin with. But it, it's, it's, it's silver pretty much everywhere. Like, then, of course, we know this part of the replaced because it's got black primer. Mm -hmm. and, and the little fellow's been in the body shop at least three times. Three? Three. So this will be number four? Yeah. Should be. So the poor little fellow's had a rough life. Well, this is Johnny. Stephen called, said, uh, video the car and the progress. I've got all the clear stripped off of it. Now I am starting to block sand what's left of the paint. See if we can get it down flat. And no scratches, no bubbles. Bubbles, we've had bubbles. Like that. Lots of little bubbles like that all over the car. And that's why I'm stripping it down as far as I can to try to find all these little bubbles. Like like that, and that, and that, and that, and that. It's terrible. The doors were in great shape. Had a little dent to fix here. That quarter's okay. The doors are great. Oh my, the bumper. I don't know how many times this thing has been repaired. <laughs> but apparently the left rear corner is a blind spot. Because it has been repaired several times. Now here I've patched in a piece of plastic that was missing. And I found the neatest little tool. It comes with all these little wire staples. You take these little wavy staples and heat them up. And they melt into the plastic. You can either put them crossways or in line. And they make a surprisingly strong joint. Then you can come back with some filler of some sort of epoxy and, and finish it out. I even repaired these little tabs right here. Uh, they bolt here and bond into this part. That holds that part flop flopping. The deck lid had a lot of them little holes in the paint. Most of them don't show up until you get down to the black layer and then the whatever's on top of it, whatever gray primer or whatever, just flops away and there's a there's a place to fill. Front spoiler is being repaired. It got glued together with staples too. All right, it may not look much different from about four or five hours ago this morning, 
But I promise you, a lot of dust has hit the floor today. It's, uh, it has all been blocked. And again, you can't tell the difference looking at it now. The bumpers, they'll come next week maybe. And I hope to get some primer on it in the morning. Oh yeah, trunk lid. Trunk lid been gone over too. So maybe tomorrow morning we'll get there some primer on it. I'm working with Johnny today. I'm doing all his prep work. 19 degrees outside. We're so excited. <laughs> it's supposed to be better tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Anyway, <laughs> he's got he's got Megan's Mustang tore all two pieces. <coughs> Trying to get all this stuff put back together, and we don't know where it goes. This is the bumper cover that goes on the back. It's got a lip, if you see right here. And this is flat. This is where it glues. So, Johnny, what do you got on your mind? Well, I'm going to use this plastic filler over here to make me a little flange. A little flange right here that I can sand flat. And then I'll use my two-part epoxy to go from this flat surface to that flat surface. So maybe it'll stick on this time. And maybe it'll stay. Yeah. That's some really high-dollar stuff right there. I'm telling you, it's what... That's why we're trying to save it, because it's, it's, you know, banged up and broke all over. Here and there. And it's looking good, and though. There and, and that's just the, that piece. And then there's that piece and that piece. All those plastic, we just broke all the pieces. And he's got me in here with uh, John. We're going to put John on. He's too ugly. Getting ready to paint, trying to get all the dirt and dust. This thing's been setting, and it's... It's dirt and dust everywhere, so we don't want that all over the uh, paint when we spray it. So we're trying to get all we can up now. And, uh, boy, it's looking good. I'm really excited about it. It don't look like a Mustang, but it is. John here, he's he hangs out. He ain't, he ain't much help. <laughs> Next day, we are in primer. First coat, and a lot more little dots, those little blisters I was talking about yesterday. A lot more of those showed up. See if I can get the light on them just right, right in there. Those little, right there, those things. More of them showed up. I don't think I got any more on the trunk. Just the ones that I found. Then, ah, oh, let's not talk about that. We're in primer. Yahoo. All right. I was about to throw away the uh, the outer skin for the convertible top, and I happened to notice on the underside all these little markings. And they're not like, you know, just on something on the surface. They, there's texture to them. I mean, they're smooshed into the fabric. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I guess. Nine or ten markings on the inside or, you know, the bottom side of the fabric. Uh, some of them look naughty. I'm not going to say <laughs> what they mean. Any ideas? 
I'm attempting to repair the crack that's in the uh, reinforcement here of the hood. There was a crack running right down through here. I'm a little worried because my epoxy doesn't seem to be setting up. Been sanding on plastic all day. Uh, there's some more. Several, several, several coats of paint on these things, and that's why they're cracking. You bump them a little bit, and they just crack all the pieces. So I'm trying to get rid of all the excess paint. I'll work on this one some more tomorrow. It has a lot of issues. And at the end of the day, I got the first block sanding done. As you can see by the dust on the floor. Didn't really try to remove any defects. Just get rid of the... Um, the sandpaper feel on the primer. That way I can kind of tell what I'm doing down the road. All right, I'm tired. See you later. I know it doesn't look like much has changed, but that's the final coat of primer. When it dries, Tomorrow morning, we'll start the final coat of sanding on all that and all that and the rear deck border, wherever it is. All in all, not bad. I know it looks like not much has happened in a week. But I had to use this a few sick days. Kind of killed my back. It's still kind of tender. But I'm pecking away at it a couple hours at a time. And I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really ready. At least the body is. And I'll get her shot here in a few days. Well, it's the day we're going to shoot the uh, Mustang, and I'm out here trying to get the uh, filters in place, and you can't get filters to fit anymore, so we have to duct tape and bend and look. I believe that'll be all right. And while I'm doing that, Johnny's in here taping this thing up, doing such a good job. This is the fun part. I like untaping better than do taping. Yeah, that's more like Christmas morning. Yeah. So, ah, we're gonna get this, or he's gonna finish taping, I'm gonna finish getting the filters in and you got his power aid there. Well, he can go really fast.
Finished the paint job yesterday. Scratching it off today. Oh boy. How did the uh how the Mustang turn out? It dried out a little bit on us. It's uh orange peely looking. Oh is it? What we gotta do about that? Uh kinda like we planned, just color sand and buff. Oh boy. Yeah. You know, oh boy. Our, our cleanest paint job <laughs> wasn't gonna have to tuck it. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. Look at that. No dust. No bugs, no, what, nothing. What I'm gonna have to touch it. Oh well, you know all good paint jobs they always buff them, and you're the best buffer in the world. <laughs> I know, but I love that color. Yeah, it's a good color. Well, I mean, you know, it's just, it's just, I just count the days, you know, how many days it's gonna take to buff, how many days it's gonna take to put that roof on. I'm hoping all the crew will be here next week so we can get all that done. It's just kind of frustrating. We'll make it. We'll make it. It'll be all right. Johnny. Huh? All we do is sand and sand and sand. How much more are we going to sand? I don't know yet. <laughs> can you see the end in sight? Will you ever get this? Slide off the car. That's what we're doing. We're making it too slick. Just slide it off the car. Can I use 40 grit? Yes. Okay. I'm willing to try. Well, <laughs> how, how, come, how come you get the new sandpaper and I have to use the old junky stuff? I'm cheap. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> this is kind of. So I get the wore out sandpaper. You're no fair, man. Oh, you want this piece? Here, I'll take that piece. I don't care. You wanted the safe spots. Yeah. That's where you want me? You sand all day. You want to go through the sand. all that orange meat stuff. Okay. Why does that smell like moonshine? Johnny, being the perfectionist that he is, didn't like the way it turned out, so, and repainted it. So, she's shining like a new diamond now. I don't know if we're gonna make the deadline on this or not. We've gotta have this ready because we are uh, gonna give it to, back to my daughter. Like I said, we talked about that before. Christmas. We gotta have this thing done December the 24th. 4th. And it is... We got 18 days, the way I count it. 18, 18 days to finish the paint, get the body back on it, all the ground effects, yep. bumper, roof. Then we got to put the top. We got to put a brand new convertible top on it, yep. which we've never done in our lives. No, nope. uh, interior. I've got new carpet for it. And we got to paint the exhaust, console. Exhaust. Exhaust. I've got it lined out, hopefully. Hopefully we can get it over in time. If not, it's gonna be a little loud. Exhaust we can worry about later. Everything else we've gotta get. Uh, we've gotta put a heater fan in it because it's making a big noise. Yeah. Then clean it up. Yeah. 18 days. 18 days. And we're standing here talking on the video. <laughs> so, we'll make it. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll do it. We'll yeah, do it. we'll make it. We're, we're on the home stretch now. Yeah, we got the big, we got the big part painted. Johnny's working me like a dog today. And you out in the field chasing quail. Yeah. These are mixing up a primer, getting ready to. We have sanded these little pieces and back bumper. 
got it all glued on and sanded ready for more primer Mike's over here wiping down these little gizmos got the nose sitting here it's ready for more primer final primer on it and then the side skirts I guess you call these side skirts or rocker what do you call these things Ground effects. The ground effects. Sounds, racy, don't it? Sounds like a high performance vehicle with 3.8 liter V6. Anyway, we're fixing to lay the primer to it. We got the Mustang out, taking the seats out, console, we're going to repaint the console and uh, redo the carpet. And I got the carpet over here in this box. There's the carpet. And we've not got enough room for all the pieces and parts, so Johnny's in here getting ready to paint the uh, ground effects in the front bumper and well the front bumper and the back bumper these little gills on the side and the trim piece for the windshield we're out of paint and we're patiently waiting for paint and Johnny Johnny's mad Johnny's mad I was really mad yesterday <laughs> Why? Why would a paint store sell you summertime hardener? No way. Yes, they sold us summertime hardener in the middle of winter. Yeah. That's why we were having so much trouble with paint running. It was not drying. That was. It was kind of bad because we were sitting there looking how pretty it was, and it just slowly started sliding down the door. Yeah. It was beautiful. We got her, boys. And the places it did run is really pretty. Yep. We like the trunk lid and the hood, and we got a tail fin here somewhere. We're gonna hang it up. He thinks he gets paid more if he paints it piece by piece instead of one big sh shot. But how many more days we got? 14 more days. And we watched a video on how to put the top on. We got to put a convertible top on. So we watched the video. He sent me a video of how to put the top on. But the only problem, it was in Spanish. I can't speak Spanish. So we got to get us a Spanish speaking somebody in here to show us how to put the top on.
mess. <laughs> and he don't even care. Oh, yes. Yeah. Say something intelligent, Johnny. <laughs> uh, intelligent. Let me show you what we got here. So we're replacing the top, and I've got the headliner in with a little bit of help. So the headliner's going. We got to replace these things because they look melted. I don't know what caused that, but you can see that. And uh, we got the back window, which goes in, bolts in here. And we don't have a clue what we're doing. And like I said, the only video that we could find on this is a... Uh, a Spanish speaking guy, but he's really doing a good job. I mean, he's explaining to us really well how this goes, but uh, when you've never done it before, it just seems like a task. So anyway, I'm doing this and Johnny is in here finishing up the paint. Got the tail fin hanging here. And there's the trunk and the hood. So we're getting close. Oh, so close, oh, so close. But I can tell you right now, I, 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 would, I don't want to go into being installing uh, convertible tops, man. What a, if I can ever get my mind wrapped around what goes where, I'll be all right. But a lot of little moving parts. Friday morning back at it, you can see uh, Johnny's over there cleaning up the uh, gasket. And we still have no idea what we're doing. When we left, we got this part ready to go in. So according to what I understand, we bolt it in, pull it tight, make sure it's, make sure that it is uh, centered, staple it down, make sure we got no wrinkles in it. Then we have to unbolt it again and put the top on. But I'm going to try to replace this part because I have no idea what did that. Somebody might know, but it looks like it's melted, but it's on both sides. So I'm going to replace this. And uh, Johnny said it would be no problem because he's not doing it and I am. I don't know who decided for us to do this. But it was a bad idea. I'm not calling any names out. Johnny. Got that on there. That looks pretty daggum good. Look at that. Man. Now the fun part, the back window. No, no. <laughs> what? the back window in this piece is the front piece of the lip that the uh, front of the top goes on we had replaced this piece so it's just uh, riveted in so Johnny decided that we need to go ahead and glue it and then we're gonna rivet it so I've got that done waiting for it to dry Johnny's uh, surfing the net <laughs> no Johnny's actually cleaning up all the parts getting ready to go back on Got a pile of parts here, a list of stuff. I don't know what all this is, but there's a list of stuff that we got to get done. And uh, here lays the top. We got it laid out, trying to get it stretched out a little bit. Didn't do too good a job of laying it out. But anyway, there it is. Getting pieces put back on it slowly but surely. Here's the mirror pieces and lots of, he took everything, everything. And uh, so anyway, while that's drying, I'm going to jerk the console out and see if I can get the carpet to lay down. And then we'll take it back out because we don't want to mess it up while we put the top on. And it's a pretty good job for those who've never done a top before. But for the little Mexican guy, he knocked that thing out. I'm like, how long did it take him to do that? 20 minutes on the video? Uh, the, the video I saw was like an hour and a half long. Hour and a half? Yeah, the whole thing. Okay, he put a top on an hour and a half. We've been on it. I'll put it back on. Okay, took it out and put it back on an hour and a half. We've been at it how long? What time did we start yesterday morning? That's just putting it back on. 
You've been on three oh, days. Oh, yeah. A little, little bit here, a little bit there, taking it off. <laughs> yeah, it adds up, don't it? Yeah, I just think we pouring concrete, I think. Yes. Monday morning, 1030. You've been over here since when? Uh, about 930. Okay, well, you've been here earlier than I was. I had other stuff to do. It's working. Yeah, we're back at it. We're back at it hard. You had to attend to the uh, wet roads alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, I just got out of the bed. <laughs> anyway, we have changed our plans on the carpet. We put the other carpet in that I ordered. Kind of cheap, man. It's real thin, and the holes were. Yeah. It was cheap. After we made a corporate decision, we looked at the carpet that was in it, and it's actually it's no holes, and it's not. It's just dirty. So we have decided to pressure wash this and clean it up, and you can see, of course, it's wet. And go back with the original car because it's got the heavy rubber and we just think this will be a better choice yeah. so we're doing that and then uh johnny is doing all the uh little odds and end pieces and stuff right yeah, yeah. And cleaning all the little pieces we're going to bolt on them later and uh the stuff that needs to be made a little bit blacker then painting those making a little Better. And I'm going to be working on putting, finishing the top up, hopefully. When we left, I had this glued on. So now we are putting the uh, rivets in. I went down to my brother's and stole his fancy rivet gun. Check this out. Is that not the sweetest thing? I love that. Let's do the last one. Oh, I just love that. Now that's in there. Now we got to pull this around and get all that. It's got to go around and glue. And... Oh, man, we're getting close. We're getting close, Johnny. Yes, I agree. Yep. I had the top laying over here. It's kind of flattening out a little bit. It was on the, laid on top of the, maybe rubbing all that ship lay off on that forward might help it a little bit. Or hurt it. Depends on which side of the tracks you're on. All right, let's get to it. Well, we're getting closer. This side fits like it's supposed to. We got the other side fitting like it's supposed to. So all we gotta do is do the front part now. Johnny's up here, got these pretty headlights. Look at that, golly. Starting to look like a Mustang. Except for the top ain't looking too good. I think it looks better without the grill. Uh, yeah. Yes, much better. Much more, better. more aggressive. Mirrors are on. Whew. The top is on. <laughs> we got a couple little places we got to fix on it, but that gum, but that looks good. That looks good. And. I've been to the bus garage, so looks like we got the hood on. We got the, I keep saying we, Johnny's got the headlights in, grill in, bumper on. Man, that looks good. Mirrors, it is coming together. I think we're going to make it. And that top, I was really worried about that top. We got a couple of little pieces here that we, I did wrong, but I got a little bit of a sag right here. We got a this mark's got to be pulled down, and then this mark on this other side has got to be pulled down. And then John explained to me that the tray goes in last. I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see the bolts back there. I'm going to get the light on here. There you go. See the bolts? These bolts, this goes in last. So we've got to unbolt this anyway, fix that part, bolt it back in, and then hook these bolt this over these. So like we'd like to do that again. So anyways, come along. Johnny, you do such such wonderful work. Well, attention to details, that's all we do. Just attention to details. So if anybody's looking for a paint job and a top put on. We can do the paint job, but we ain't going to do no more convertible tops. We got plenty of practice on painting. <laughs> we ain't doing no more, no more convertible tops. 
I'm in the paint booth if you can hear me. We got all the stuff in here we washed, pressure washed, and now we're letting it dry. Really come out good. We're going to uh, dye the carpet because it's in really good shape. Just uh, over time, you can see where it's kind of a different color here, but we've got the dye for that, so tomorrow we're letting it dry. We'll dye that and it'll look like brand new. I just think this is a better move using the original carpet because there's really no holes in it, but uh, the other carpet just seem cheap to me so I think we can die and I think it'll come out look just as good as brand new or better anytime you go factory on some of this stuff you know when you order carpet it's made in Taiwan or whatever but, uh, we'll know tomorrow let it dry tonight and then die tomorrow see how it turns out get that back in it's coming along pretty good I'm moving on late hello Johnny hello look at there boy that looking good got all this stuff painted he painted the couch It's gonna look nice. We gotta repaint these things. Look at this mess. Look at this. them down with the anything or what? Uh, these are the pieces I washed. Yeah, these are the pieces I yeah, washed. Yeah, we washed them. Carpet looks like brand new. Look at that. Back seats are clean. Front piece are clean. And check this out. Look at this. Woo, Lord. Brand new tail light, tail fins on. So, these side pieces in here. Got all this. We like this little part here. That's on. Put this on. This is, this is a. The only thing I could find was this, and it's made in China, I think. It does not fit good at all, so we're going to have to work on that. This side over here, you notice it's, I'll try to heat that up, see if I can get that to lay down, because it don't, it just don't fit like it's supposed to. Oh. So today is Tuesday. How many more days we got left, Johnny? A week and three days. A week and three days. Like that. Is that counting Saturday and Sunday? Yes, sir. Just Saturday. We gonna make it? Yeah. Yeah, we gonna make it. Starting to look like a car now, Johnny. Coming close. Coming close. I think maybe today might wind it up. I hope so. <laughs> I'd like to get some sleep. Oh, that looks good. Come together nicely. Roll bar almost in it. That look good. Look good, Mike. Back on the Mustang. The whole crew ended up getting the flu, so we have been out for three solid days running fevers, and nobody has done anything on the Mustang. This thing has followed us from the get-go. We have had the wrong hardener come in for the paint. We have had parts come in that wasn't what we needed, had to send back. We've had uh, just one issue after another. But... And then three days out for, uh, I'd say three, maybe four days. I can't keep up with it. 
you're running temperature it's hard to keep up with but uh anyway uh monday morning we're back uh going to sneak it up to uh sean fat tire guy thomas and he is going to put the uh exhaust pipes the tail pipes are rusted off of us so uh we thought we'd run up there today and get that done the seats are supposed to be here today and a couple of little uh, other odds and ends and then we got to get it cleaned up uh we're seven days out seven days out so i feel pretty sure about making it megan's mustang's really looking good it's uh like i said it's been a fight and a feud and a fuss but uh as you can see we're gaining on it gaining on it i'm gonna put the driver's seat back in it just so i can get it up there to sean's and uh, all the interiors back in it roll bar looks good back seat headliner painted the console this uh top i actually come off of the wreck mustang i've got over there we've stole a few parts off of it the headlight switch come off the wreck mustang the uh, armrest come off the wreck mustang a few more of the lods and ends went back with the factory carpet we pressure washed it and re-dyed it come out really good and like so let's go ahead and throw a seat in this thing get up there and get the exhaust pipe put on it and see if we can't get it to get it back down here get the seats new seats put in it if they're supposed to be here today and see how that goes this thing right here is made in taiwan i guess or china it is junk it looks good but it is junk and i actually had to put screws here to hold this down because it would just flare it up it looked like it had wings on both sides so i'm gonna keep my eye out for a factory one if i can ever find one all i gotta do is install it so, coming along. Oh my. So far, so good. We can get out of here without knocking some of this stuff off. We're heading up to Sean's. See if we can get some uh, exhaust. The exhaust from the muffler's back and rotted off this thing. And he ordered, I think, a factory GT set. But I don't know if it's going to work or not because it's a V6 car with aftermarket exhaust. Anyway, it's kind of hard turning out of here on this road, and I got a car coming, so we should get run over first thing. That'll be good. On our way back, dropped that thing off up there this morning. He put the exhaust on it, and the uh, heater core had to flush it out. It had no heat. Everything seemed like it's working good, so now all we got to do is get us some seats in this thing. Clean it up, shine it up, and put a red bow on it. Little bit of buffing left. Details. Details. We got it. The devil's in the details. So what's wrong now? Oh, I just, just I'm more looking at them seats, saying, you know, what does it take, like some two-inch square tubing or something, building a little riser kit or something? These will be fine. <laughs> we can do it. We got time. Got all week. Well, good part of the week. These seats are. They're challenging. Yep. And if you want to put some seat covers on, you still have to pull them out. I mean, you know. You're so right. negative. You're to, so dang negative. You've been it, around. To do it right. You've been around Mike too long. The seats come in. I think it's going to be a pretty good job to put them in, but Johnny ain't going to have it any other way. Me and Mike has made a uh, corporate decision, have we not, Mike? Yeah, we have. I think we're going to go back with the stock seats and see about getting them covered. These seats are fine. But this, this little part right here is made for a little bitty feller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty. They look good. They just don't feel good. We'll get uh, get these seats fixed, the original seats somewhere. I don't know. I'll come up with something, but we ain't got time for that now. So. Hey, John. Yes. We got it. 
Uh, I was going to begin to wonder. <coughs> yeah, me too. We got it. Seats are not going to work. Oh. They're made for a little bleeding. They're made for a little narrow person. <laughs> so anyway, we've ordered exhaust tips because the tips that uh, we got don't come out long enough. They should be your Saturday. That should be an easy fix. And I'm going to order some nice seat covers for the seats just for the, just to show it to Megan. Yeah. 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 And then we work on getting some seats, but uh, it's been a, it's been a task. It has its fodders the whole way. Heck of a while. Some cars are that way. I, I don't understand it. Well, how do you feel about it? It's real good, really. Mm -hmm. um, wish, wish we didn't get so much dust in it, but on the outside, you'll never see this. Mm -hmm. um, and push come to show, we can polish it out a little bit later. We'll have to see what Megan says. Yes. I think she'll be tickled. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Been a lot of work. Oh, so got, it's all the car she remembers it being. That's the big deal, ain't it? Yeah. Because she got this when she was like 15 years old. And she drove this thing all the way through high school and then college. She drove it back and forth to Augusta, Georgia in college. Wow. Yep. And then I can't remember exactly what happened to it. And then she took the SS and Palace and started driving it. Yeah. And uh, it just set. Park and set, so I don't know why I got a wild hair to put it back together, but it kind of brings back memories. And that's the funny thing, like two weeks after she got her driver's license, she backed into the pole up there at the uh, Huddle House. Yeah. And she called me all upset. I wrecked my car. I said, how bad? She said, I run over a pole on the bumper and it skinned the bumper up. And I said, well, Megan, it won't be the last time. <laughs> right? Right. So you might as well get used to that kind of stuff, so. Anyway, Johnny, man, I know it's been rough, but I sure appreciate you helping me on this. Glad to do it. Glad to yep. do it. So we're going to get something else in here before it's over with. I'd like to get the tri-magnum. Yeah. And yep. we need to at least look look it over and find out what we have. Yep. So. All right. I guess get her cleaned up. And put a, I'd like to put a big red bow on it. Yeah. 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 Come back in town from down south, and they've been working on this Mustang getting it ready and finished it up said everything's fine and dandy and let's go with it and i looked at it i said fella are you gonna clean this thing and they're like no it's good i was like no, no it's not so i looked it over and it was it was stuff all over it. and uh inside had some mold and whatnot they got a lot of it off but it needed the actual good detailing and i've cleaned the dash i've cleaned the steering wheel the seats and thing i got the ozone machine in there getting rid of the smell Clean the windows up on it. I went across the top with some vinyl stuff to clean that up. It was, just had specks on it looking rough. Fingerprints all over all the windows. I got that all cleaned up and ready. Funny part is, Megan thinks that ozone machine that's hers, I was using for my truck, is actually in her Mustang, so. Got her on that one. Yeah, I got it about ready. Need to, I'm gonna let that run for about another half hour. And then I'll come back up, check it out, and see if that get rid of the smell. But it's supposed to work. We'll see. It's definitely got a weird smell. So we're getting close to having this thing finished. We'll be delivering it this weekend. So maybe she'll like it. I think she will. Merry Christmas, baby. I hope you like it because Dad's got a lot of work in it, and I just cleaned it. Final day, and our uh, tips are in. Check these out. What do you think, Dylan? Is that not pretty cool or what? That's real far from fine. Hang right, man. Hmm. First class all the way. That's cool. Here's the issue we're having. Took it up to Sean, fat tire guy Thomas, and he ordered the original factory exhaust tips for it. But if you see, they just come out to right here. So you, they ain't hardly out far enough. So we measured and ordered these bad boys. What do you think? Is that about right or need to come out further? We can adjust them in and out. That's too much. That looks like the one the Chinese rig. They got the exhaust right up over the car. Well, let's try this other one over here. Let's put that in the coat in. That one needs to be. And that was a little bit too far to the left. 
Do I need to pull the muffler over a little bit or not? That sticks up for the too. It does? Yep. Oh, we gotta fix that. Yep. Why does it do that? I don't know. New tips are in. I think that looks a whole lot better sticking out a little bit. This one on this side was over that way just about a quarter inch, so we had to bend it to get it straightened up, but I think it's gonna be just fine. Kinda gives a little bit of exhaust on the end of that. Brunt Boots sent me their boots over three months ago and asked me to do a review on them, and I did. But now that I've had them for three months and I've been wearing them daily, and they're broken in and they're fitting my foot like they should, I wanted to give another shout out. These boots are broken in now to my foot and they are so comfortable. They're heavy built, but they're lightweight, and I don't think you can go wrong with them. I've really enjoyed them, and I am a tennis shoe guy. But you can see they're worn and beaten and all that, but they're holding up and they got, they're comfortable. I mean, they're absolutely comfortable. I think they're worth the money. Go to bruntworkwear.com. I don't think you can go wrong with them. They got a lot of other boots, a lot of other stuff. Uh, so go check them out. Like I said, I'm not a salesman, but I, I appreciate what they did sending me these boots because they are very good boots and I highly recommend them. Bruntworkwear.com. Well, I got something for you. Yeah. Out here, and I've been working on it for a long time. It's a surprise. So y'all ready to go see this thing? I think everybody's out there and ready. Uh, so here's the deal. I need your eyes closed and your eyes closed. You can't peek. When she opens the door, y'all holler out Merry Christmas. This is dad. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Is this new? This is new. Brand new car. 
How do you like your new car? I love it so much. Five or six. Better thank Steven. Did you work on it, Logan? No. No, not much. Yes, <laughs> there. Are you videoing me? Yeah, I'm videoing. I love it. <laughs> well, I think that was a success. Yep, I think we know that she fell in love again with her car. So, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Philip's Run Drip and Bubble Company. Appreciate y'all.